Uh, Steve, before we talk about our show at the weekend in uh, Liverpool, uh, on the same night we had Jack Fatley uh, fighting on the BT B- B- Sports, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a BT Sports pay per view show, yeah, and yeah. you know what? I was devastated that I wasn't there because it was uh, a big fight for Jack, and you know, personally, you know, I, I'm doing these small old shows to build build the kids up and give them the opportunity to fight on the TVs and for titles and you know when it when he gets that I want to be there with him but unfortunately uh, I had to be in Liverpool and uh, you know that's one of the other reasons when we talk about later that I'm going to have to cut down on the shows because uh, they're getting so hard to do uh, they're not enjoyable and I'm, I know and I could have been at an event enjoying you know what we work for and, and I'm not it, it's no good but uh, I've still not seen the fight because it's on BT pay-per-view and it's not got on YouTube yet but it will get on YouTube and uh, I'll have a look but from what I can can see and I have seen the actual lead clash it was just unfortunate Jack's gone in with his head and he's ducked down which is unusual and uh, they've both both clashed heads and you know uh, bad cut obviously had to call it off um, I wish it was in the fourth and not the fifth and then uh, it'd have been a no contest and we'd probably got a rematch me yeah. and uh, now they've announced him as the winner and probably was the winner over four and a half rounds would he have been over ten rounds uh, we'll never know I mean I've read a bit of uh, him on Twitter saying he thinks he was going to win and you know Jack's confident he was going to win so I'm hoping they'll do it again you know um, and let's find out who's the best man. Well uh, the, today's podcast which will be out at 9 o'clock tonight um, I was listening to Steve Lillis and Alex Matbianco, uh, mm-hmm. Jack Flatley's coach, mm-hmm. he's one of the guests, he's, he's the guest on there and uh, they were talking about it and they, they felt they were a little bit harsh on the scorecards because I believe they, first of all they scored one minute 20 seconds of the fifth round as, as a complete round right. and uh, I think one judge gave it all five rounds mm. to Nathan Heaney and I believe Steve Lilly said he felt like at the end of the fourth he had it 3-1 to Nathan Heaney but right. it could have quite easily been classed as 2-2 but mm. Jack was coming on strong and, and was really getting into mm. the fight so um, well listen we know he's a slow start and, and, and we've all accepted he lost the first two but you know We'll never know unless they do it again. So uh, there was a rematch clause if, if, we, if we lost, um, which is fair enough. It was their show and he's a big ticket seller. Let's just see if he's got the balls to have the fight again. Yeah, yeah no, I like to say. Um, now, going on to our show, uh, back in Liverpool. Um, it was, I know it was an absolute nightmare because it all fell apart a few days before, but you managed to get what turned out to be. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I was filming it. And I was smiling all the way through, so right. great little smile. Well, I'm glad you were smiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was catching my breath and my wallet was as well. But you know, yeah. that that's an, an, another story. I mean, really and truthfully, it wasn't one of my best shows. I've got to accept that. We didn't really have a big top of the bill. We had two six rounders and, and seven four rounders, and uh, you know, it was what it was, wasn't it? You know, there was it some was, half decent fights on it, but it was, exactly you know, what you yeah. said. There was some really entertaining fights. Um, mm-hmm. And in fact, there was a kid who's never fought on our show before. I've interviewed him twice. Um, one of the early morning youth lads, yeah. Jack Dwyer. And do you know, I, 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 watching him fight, there's no way I would have said he was a, a one and four fighter. Yeah. He looked really good against the. Uh, yeah, listen, he's, he's, he's now two and three, I think. Two and four. Is he two, two and four? Yeah. Two are on four away. Read whatever you want into that, you know, that's the way it is. But. Um, I watched little bits of him. He's tall for the weight. Very and, tall. Uh, you know, he throws some, some good punches. And Great job. That, that loop flash coming about a half a stall every he, he, <laughs> he should have been. So he give a bit of weight away. Um, I, I want to make some fights, local kids, and not just my own kids. And he's not with me, but I think him and Sean Cairns for an early title, which Sean's got. It's a good fight, so I'm going to try and put that together. Really? Yeah, that would be a good fight. Mm. Uh, and then a kid, he's always in great fights, always really entertaining. And, and again, it happened, uh, Ben Burnham, uh, cruising first two rounds, cruising against Lou Van Pooch. Mm. Uh, and then Pooch, he's, he's, a, he's a new man. Brilliant. Really, I've heard he's um, giving up when his uh, scam, scams run out this year, and it'd be a shame to miss him because he, he, he's, he's pulled a lot of people out of the shit. And, uh, He's pulled us out of shit and again last, last Saturday because uh, he's having problems with uh, Ben's opponent and Ben's lost 
three or four fights for us when it happened to him. So it would have been sickening if it happened again. He could have even walked away from the sport. So yeah, big big props to, to Pucci. And like you say, he can turn it on when he wants. And uh, he fought back in the third and fourth, got some big overhand rights too, didn't he? And uh, you know what? Good learning fight for Ben, that, yeah. Brilliant learning fight for him. And also, uh, Colin Fallon, mm. uh, the best form he's been in, because he, he coming into that fight, Louis Van Poochie, just knocks him out mm. uh, and got a draw. Uh, mm. Again, as a away fighter, and he believed he won that. So, going into that fight, you know, he, he, he was looking to make it three all about. Um, and then, the kid who we talk about all the time, and we say how talented he is, and I think he proved it again last night, um, Damien Duo. But, uh, I think he was, wasn't yeah, it? yeah, and you know what? It's so hard to match Brandon. You know, we we had to get Fallon in. He was a little bit heavier, but you know, we dropped him in, in in the first and showcased his skills for the next five rounds. And you know, uh, he's a super talent, and uh, I, I've got um, a difficult job because he's that good um, to, to keep him moving. But we're working on it. I mean, I'm speaking to some TV promoters and saying, look, he's not a ticket seller, but he, he, he's worth. A pump, so uh, let's hope one bites and we can get him a break because he deserves very, it. Very, very entertaining. What I love was the MC when he announced him. It's good job the other kid couldn't understand English because mm -hmm. when they announced his amateur pedigree, he got eight national titles, mm -hmm. uh, bronze medal at the Commonwealth Youth Games. It looks like, oh, the hell, his list was mm -hmm. endless, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and another very talented uh, former amateur, now 4 and 0 as a pro, uh, Ryan Dickens. Uh, last minute opponent again. Yeah, it, it, it was a nightmare. It's not even worth speaking about. It happens all the time when you're getting people pull, pull out and then you've got to get someone in. So we, we got Gennady in who, who, who'd been actually been injured. He shouldn't have fought, but he, he come in last minute because uh, he, he knew Ryan and you know, it was a favour, wasn't it? You know, So uh, let's move on from that one. <laughs> yeah, also, I think it, it was a stone plus difference mm. in weight, wasn't there? You know what I mean? Mm. So, um, uh, but. Now another one, it wasn't the result we wanted, but again, an absolute cracking fight, a real one that was a crowd pleaser. Uh, Charlotte Powell against... I can't yeah, do you know it. what? It, it, it was the best fight of the night by Country Mile. And, you know, Charlotte's good, good value. I mean, she is a decent boxer because she's got a decent amateur pedigree and I know she's spied some really good kids and they've told me how good she is, but, you know, um, she likes to fight and she, she had a fight and uh, the other girl was the same. It's just non-stop haymakers, wasn't it? There wasn't much, much skill in it, but, you know, uh, it, it, it was good. It, it got the crowd from. She was the best ticket seller and she was the best fight of the night. Unfortunately, she hurt. I think she's dislocated her fingers. She's getting an operation on it on the um, in the second round, so you know uh, she's done really, really well to carry on. But as I say, uh, what a fight! You know, she could have made it a bit easier. And uh, again, I'm going to try and make a rematch tonight. The people will come out. She to wants a rematch. Yeah, yeah, people, people will come out to watch those sort of fights, won't they? And that's what we want. We didn't have a good crowd on Saturday. And maybe when you look at the card and, and what was supposed to happen uh, it were, we're coming out to watch so uh, my job is to make, make it enjoyable for people to come out and I've got to make better fights, less shows. Maybe so like you said but for me as a, as a, as a boxing fan I enjoyed all the fights yeah. but they were all very yeah. entertaining yeah. Uh, and, and really competitive and, yeah. and that's another good thing being competitive you mm -hmm. know. Um, then we have the, the he looks like he's going to be a real talent. He's the Brown against Carl Sampson, who was a, uh, again. Again, uh, another late replacement, yeah. and um, obviously fights around 9 10, whereas Ethan's a solid solid 10 too. So he, he was a real favourite of us because Ethan's been let down you know, a couple of times already. And again, he could have got let down on uh, Saturday night, but he was like a, a late one on, on Thursday that. that um, Carl Sampson agreed to, to step in and help us out, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, you know, he's got good movement, and, and, and well, he had to use that well. Fight, didn't and I was just going to say he had to use all his skills to get through that because Ethan was really, really putting putting him on it, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm 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 pleased he got through, and, I, and I'm. Uh, I'm pleased to turn up because Ethan needed to get out, you know, and, and he's got out and he's 2 and 0 now, and he does look a talent. And uh, again, um, you know, we'll, we'll put him in um, another another learning fight. Uh, 
a bit harder that with someone his own weight next time yeah, and, um, yeah, and moving yeah. forward. But you know, yeah, we definitely want to watch Ethan Brown. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Ian White said and uh, Mike Gormley who commentated on the fight uh, said he, a, a definite prospect, yeah. a real prospect. Uh, and then again, another one of those great fights, Seamus uh, Devlin becoming a regular on our show in the away corner. Where he bought, not, not one of our fighters, one of Kurt Spigarwood boys, uh, but it's his, his second fight on the VIP show, Conor Goulding. Yeah, he's, he shifts a few tickets and you know, but let's be honest about it, he's, he's not a world beater, is he? But he's, he's going to always be in good fights and his fans will keep coming and watch him because he's in good fights and uh, he'll probably be improved um, from that on Saturday and uh, he's more than welcome on our shows again. What do you, do you, I've just said though, you know, he got taken to, I think he only had seven amateur fights mm. and the majority of them were, were seven years ago before he stepped yeah. in the ring, so yeah. realistically, mm. actually, he's not done mm. bad because mm. he's come through two really, I think he had Chris Zoo looks mm. last time on our show and yeah. then uh, Seamus Devlin, yeah. he's so a real answer. Seamus has got an awful record on him, but he, 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 not better than he, he, um, he can fight, yeah. He can, he can, and he had a great fight. And then another kid that we've got high hopes for, um, who again, a last minute uh, replacement, the, the ever reliable Jay Bray, uh, Brian Collins. Yeah, again, na nightmare. He had an opponent coming in from, from abroad. We got a text on Wednesday morning saying uh, he was injured and weren't fighting, and he uh, was really, really struggling. Thanks to, to Jake Bray, again, Friday, he, he jumped in and helped us out of the way. Brian, and he's been one of those who's been let down again. Well, to be honest with you, there was a few on there who've been let down in the past. Charlotte, I think know, that's why you've been shared with the show. Ben, Ethan, and Brian, and you know, I was considering pulling it because you know it weren't a great show and I was losing a lot of money and it didn't make sense to do it. But I did it because of those kids that've been let down previously. So uh, we did it. Not regretting it now, you know, it's done, but I've had to pull this Saturday show because I wasn't going through what I went through last week because mm. we had one out of seven max. Our own kids were late getting the medicals and so two or three of them might, might have fell out. Um, struggling getting opponents, ticket sales probably weren't, weren't as good as they wanted to be and I thought, I ain't putting myself through it no more, you know, I'm just not doing it. So I've had to pull this, this Saturday show and uh, I feel relieved about it and we've been all like, um, go on about the October 8th which we've got on, on sporty stuff but we'll do that separately uh, yeah, early yeah. next week. We'll just touch on it later yeah. on but uh, the final, the, the top of the bill, again it wasn't the 8th round but uh, the same opponent, the Russian kid who's got numerous occasions uh, on our shows, Rustin but who, who played? Yeah, listen, he, he's quality that Rusty. He's he, come, he comes up on every show and does a job and uh, he learns. And, and, and Tom Hanks is, is a good fighter and uh, he's going to be fighting for titles. And the, the six rounds experience he, he picks up with them, he would have learned something. And, uh, you know, uh, good job these Russians are about because, I mean, what would have done with Tom? You know? yeah. Yeah. Mate, that was his 10th time on a VIP show. Right. I think he's, 34 fights since he come over here. Mm. He's never been stopped while he's been over here. And you look at the kids on his resume, you know, who he's fought. He, he's been yeah. over here. He's, he's one great. Of the Listen, I've given him a VIP tax suit, he turns up with it there. <laughs> he's like the old, the, old, the old kids. I mean, I'll be VIP kids. I'll be wearing them, but no, rust, rust him. Uh, now nah, he's, he's a nice lad. And uh, some, sometimes it's hard to see him keep checking the pastings he does, but you know. Uh, he knows what his job is and uh, he's, he, 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 he's an excellent fighter and he's a lovely person as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah must be one of my favourites now when he's on, on the show, I know we're going to have a good fight. But uh, what you were touching on before, uh, I'm going to be catching up with all the fighters who are on that show this week. Um, but a really good good uh, undercard and uh, I know we, we had two great top of bills, one of them's changed now. Um, but this is your first show. Uh, in Doncaster on uh, the 8th of April, where we've got um, um, with TV. Sports yeah, yeah, sports. sporty stuff TV, yeah. so it's going live. I think it's something like 12 million ohms. It's like uh, on sporty stuff TV Sky, it's on Free Sat and Free TV as well. So uh, 
there's a lot of press work going to be going over there over the ne next week and get it out. Just want to get some numbers. We're up against you, Bank and Ben, which is, know, it's it's a tough money. one, but you know, a lot of people want what we're paying the, the subscription and then the pay per view. So they've got three, oh, three, three, three box, yeah. So they've got three boxing on, on VIP, or if they are big boxing fans and they're watching it on, on, on the zone, they can also watch it, you know, on our TV, or if they're watching oh, it on their well, TV, yeah. they can uh, watch it on. Um, the sporty stuff web website, you know, we, we'll be doing the undercard on our YouTube channel and going into live on the TV, but they'll also be having it live so, on their website. So that one, because we've not been going live recently, I've been mm. filming most of our shows, yeah. haven't we? But this one, we're going live and then yeah. the, the two top of the bills yeah. are actually live on this uh, sports Yeah, field. and I think we're going to put Roman Fury on then as well, you know, so, um, right. yeah. So uh, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, go, we'll run through that uh, nearer the time. Um, yeah. Perhaps next weekend or on Monday or something. No but, problem. Uh, like I say I, I know it wasn't the fight, the show that you wanted last weekend, but I enjoyed it. Right. And, uh, it was well, I'm really glad, good I'm glad you did. All right. Thank <laughs> you. See you later, Steve. Bye. 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 For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.